All right, everybody. So uh, starting a kind of a little journey, if you'd call it here. I've got Brett with me. What's up, everyone? And as you can see, we are trailer shopping. So, um, new decoy trailer time. So our old one was old and we needed a new one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of take you through the process here. So we're going to pick a trailer out. There's rhymes and reasons for what we need, the size, the style, everything like that. We're gonna show you how we're gonna kind of build it out and make it fit our needs. Maybe give you some ideas for when you're building your own trailer. And then, um, you're gonna be able to follow it in the field. So then we're gonna take you in the field with us and kind of show you us you know, using this, but then also bring you on the hunts that this trailer is going on. So um, kind of exciting. You have something new, right? Yes, sir. All right, something new and um, this would be kind of neat. So let's go shopping. Shopping for these trailers, I'm not a trailer expert. So I want to have a little more room, not be crazy tight on everything. I want to have room so we can have the kennels up in front because as soon as I start pulling a decoy trailer, I can't pull the dog trailer. And having one truck, I need to be able to do both. So we're going to set that up in here. I'm also thinking about width, you know, so at the seven foot option, eight and a half foot option. I love the eight and a half foot option, you know, for just the space, you know, as you start you know, hanging decoys, you start stacking up the blinds, that seven feet, you know, disappears pretty quick. But the other thing we have to keep in mind is that we're gonna be pulling this in a field, right? So weight becomes an issue. You know, we don't want this thing to be, you know, I'd love to have this, you know, 24, 28 foot giant and have all the room in the world. We're not going to do that right so we're going to be kind of smart or as smart as we can you know with that so we want to have the space we want to have the room but we also want to be cautious of that we're going to be pulling this in and out of the field the, another great tip that i had really learned when looking at these trailers is that some of these trailers were really built to be on the road right so they're very low to the ground you know the axles you're know, real low to the ground and, and wires are kind of hanging everywhere we want to make sure we have some clearance here because again we're going to be off-road we're gonna be in the field so I don't want as much as I can anyways I want that bottom of that trailer being protected from the corn stocks and the debris that we're inevitably gonna be driving into so there's a lot to think about this isn't as easy of a decision as I wish it would be um, but we're gonna kind of go through some options here and try to see what we think is best I've had two trailers one of them the door is open like this and one of them had a drop-down door. I love the drop-down door just because I felt like people didn't trip. Um, just felt like it was a, a nice, easy you know, way for people to get up and down. The only thing that people did do once in a while is not see that cable. <laughs> they trip over that cable coming on that door. But I personally, I, I like, I like that. I think it's clean. I didn't, I didn't dislike the doors either. You know, but this is nice because you could you know, run a four-wheeler in here or something like that. You know, if you wanted to use it that way. The height to me is, is really important because you know I'm trying to think it's five degrees in North Dakota and we're freezing cold. Like when we're picking up, like we're not being careful, right? So like you're picking stuff up and you're just bringing stuff in. Specifically that back door on my last trailer was low and I cracked my skull on that numerous times as I was bringing stuff in here. And you're carrying heavy stuff, you're just not thinking about ducking. And you know, I'm six one, so I'm not like I'm crazy tall, you know, so it's it's a it's something that anyone that's taller than me is for sure going to crank their head on it. So I love the height from that. You know, just kind of a safety aspect. Um, I also love that when we when we hang stuff. So what we're going to do 
because you know, we have all of our Dave Smith you know, decoys, you know, we're going to do some hanging systems and that gives us room to hang but still have the floor option. You know, if, it, if it's a lower, you know, it doesn't seem like much, but it really does add up when you start talking about wall space. Once we know the dimensions of one of these trailers, we can go back, put a pen to paper and really plan out, okay, this is how we're going to make this whole thing look and make sure it all comes together. But when you're just shopping like this, the fun and the frustrating part of this is that there's a lot of uh, imagination, right? There's a lot of things you're just trying to go through your head and you're trying to put yourself in the field, you know, in the build, like this, uh, this blank canvas is something that is exciting. Um, but it's frustrating because that's why I have Brett is that I'm not the creative mind to envision what this is going to look like forward thinking. You know, I, I'm, I'm an in the moment guy. I'm a build it guy. Um, Brett is the creativity side of it. So he's going to have to help me out envision some of this. Yeah, so, so this trailer already has some different things that I like. Um, one being that it's significantly taller, you yeah. know? So the last one, I was talking about the height and yeah, I wanna say it was probably six, seven inches yeah, on top of my head. This is the same length, same width, I believe. It's quite a bit taller, which I, I like, especially when we start talking about, you know, hanging systems on the side, you know, cause we're gonna have a number of things we're gonna, you know, we, this, this is prime real estate when we start talking about putting stuff up. Love that the safety factor, like I talked about, you know, hit my head. It looks like, I don't know if this is what this is, it looks like maybe this is framed out for an AC system. You know, and that's something that we're gonna want to really look at is if we're gonna have the dogs in here, again, this is going to be part dog trailer as we're traveling. I wanna make sure that this can, you know, heat and cool this depending on where we are so that these dogs stay comfortable. It looks to me like it's framed out for that. Again, not a trailer expert by any means, so I don't know if that is the case, but I will ask about that. But tons of room in this one. Um, I like the step just from the, the point of that this sits higher than the other one does. So I don't know if the step is a required thing, but it's certainly higher, so we talk about that clearance. And then the other side that I really like you know, about this too is the size of this door. This door has to be two feet or more wider than the other one. And again, I'm just trying to think forward looking when we're in the field, like this is gonna be naturally, people are gonna come here as they're packing up and people are also gonna come through this door. So the wider this door is, the less people are banging the edges and like hitting stuff when they come in, it's just easier and cleaner to kind of come in and out. So I really, I, I like, I like this. I like um, you know, a lot of what this has to be able to offer. All right, so here we are, picking up the trailer. We're all hooked up. And uh, what I'm really excited about here is how much room there is. So, big door, as you can see. Oh boy, that's okay. Big door, and uh, there's just so much room here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through what I'm gonna do to set this up, how we're gonna set it up to where we can hold everything be as organized as possible because that's a major thing for me. I want to say organized and uh, shoot, it'll only be a week and a half and this will be in a field in North Dakota. So here we go. So I'm pulling out with, uh, with the trailer and the guy goes, okay, I gotta ask you, what is in your front seat? And uh, <laughs> it's what's funny about this is, <laughs> here's, Here's uh, my odd ad that I literally had just picked up from the taxes room that I shot in Texas. And uh, <laughs> he's like, I have never seen that. He thought I was like stuffing like my pets. I mean, just it's funny because a lot of people haven't seen an odd ad before, but there's mine. So uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I have the trailer all hooked up and uh, we are going to go see my good friends over at Lucky Duck and pick up a whole bunch of new gear that we're going to outfit in this trailer. So we're going to pick up kennels. We're going to pick up, um, you know, some blind accessories. We're going to pick up some new spinners. I just love new gear. So uh, we're going to go see them and uh, get all set up. All 
right, so here we are. They got a bunch of stuff going on around here, but we got all loaded up. See here. Oh, we're full. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I am super excited to get this stuff back, get it all unboxed, start getting this trailer set up because we only have a couple days and we will be off to North Dakota. So got a lot to do in a little bit of time, but here we go. So as I'm driving home here, I want to take a second and uh, just really appreciate what just happened. I've been so blessed with my time and what I do and the relationships that I've had to have the relationships like we just had, to be able to go and pick up a bunch of brand new gear from the warehouse, see my friends, and you know, there's just a lot. I mean, Lucky Duck did not have to help us out and set up what, uh, what we set up here, but they did it. And they are just, they're a fantastic company with fantastic people. I just cannot say enough good things about them. But here is, uh, here's what I'm doing now, if you can see that. So, <laughs> Lucky Duck is based out of a little Wisconsin town. That's one of the things I love about them too. Little Wisconsin town, not far from us at all. And anytime I come over here to Baldwin, I have to go through A&W because for whatever reason, it is like Whitney's little secret pleasure is she just loves A&W. So got to stop here. I have to get her a root beer float and some chicken tenders, and then she's going to be happy and she's going to be ready to go. So um, I'm going to run in here, grab this stuff for her. Got to be a good husband. And then we're going to get back. We're going to start unboxing all this stuff. We're going to start getting it set up. So I have a lot that I have going on. So I'm going to get uh, my easy track systems all set up in this trailer. Uh, that's going to help me organize. It's going to help every, keep everything secure. I'm huge on organization. If it's not organized, my OCD is going to go nuts. So I have to make sure it's all organized and set up. And that easy track system seems to be anyway. I've never used it, but I've seen it in, in other trailers seems to be a really good way to organize everything. So I'm gonna get that stuff set up. I have my accessories already ordered. We gotta get that easy track system installed. And then we start kind of putting the pieces together, which would be really fun. So, uh, so today is Tuesday and I have to have this done probably by Saturday because my boy, my son turns two on Monday. We're having his birthday party on Sunday and then we leave first thing in the morning on Tuesday. So uh, probably Saturday at the very latest, I have to have all this done. So I have a lot to do in a little bit of time, but to me, this is the fun stuff. I love this part of the process. I love this part of the journey and it's gonna make things that much more fun and that much easier when we do get into the field. So um, rip your float and then get to work. Um, so what we're doing is we're unboxing a bunch of this stuff. So I want to show you these. So these are the Lucky Kennels, five-star crash test rated. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, we're putting the feet on, and it's literally the only thing that you need to put on these kennels. I love that there's no assembly. Actually, with this and the, the cot. So let me come over here. You guys can see the kennel cot. So what this does is this goes in the kennel. And this is a really comfy mat that these dogs can lay on, makes the ride much more comfortable for them, which is a big deal, especially when you're traveling long distances. But here's the other thing that I love about this kennel cot is when we're traveling, if we're going to do training sessions or if you have a dog at home that you have the dog riding the kennel with you and maybe you go to a training spot, this can come out of the kennel and become a place board for you. So it's kind of one of those tools that can multi-purpose. So I love that, but I also love I just love the convenience of it not having to be assembled. So the kennels, the cots, everything comes out of the box ready to go. The only thing is the feet. Now you may not want the feet, you know? So what the feet do is you can see that they're kind of these little rubber feet. And so if you have like hardwood floors or something like that, that the crate could slide around on or that you're worried about scratching, okay, put the feet on. You may have a situation that maybe you like to slide the crate in and out of your truck and that extra friction is gonna make it to where it's something you don't want. So it's a, that's why they come without the feet on is that some people want them, some people don't. But I love them in here, especially because what I'm gonna do and why we're unboxing this stuff now before this easy track system goes on 
is because I am a measure two or three times cut once kind of a guy. So what I want to do is I'm going to put everything on here. I want to make sure my easy track system, which is going to help secure these crates and make it so they don't shift or move at all. But I want to make sure that these are, are really located in the right spot so that we can make sure they're secured. And I just don't want to, after I install everything to come back and go shoot, these aren't going to hold right. And so that's why we're assembling everything. We're unboxing this stuff now, measure, mark, then put the easy track system on and then we're going to start securing so uh, we're getting there this is kind of one of these evolutions but you can see we have a lot of stuff here that we need to unbox and get out of here get set up and then we kind of start assembling this thing so uh, we're definitely on our way good morning everybody so uh, a little update on the trailer you can see up here light bars are installed. To be honest with you, I'm not crazy about this because uh, I had a super busy day on Friday. We leave for North Dakota in less than 20 hours, so I have a ton to do here. But uh, my thought was that as long as the trailer was at the shop, I would just have them install the lights. Okay, great idea. So I was busy with clients and other stuff. Two birds with one stone. Well, I had asked them to put this one up here and this one back there so that we have the most light possible. It didn't happen and so I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna try to make it to where my OCD doesn't completely drive me insane. <sighs> They're in and I guess that's when so I'm just gonna leave it at that. So um, you can see in here I've started to get the trailer going. The track system is in. I'm starting to organize here a little bit. You can see I'm super super paranoid with my OCD because I'm make sure that I'm crazy, crazy organized here. Um, but we're starting to get stuff going. Um, you can see we have more stuff here, ton of stuff to unpack. You'll have to uh, excuse some of the boxes over here because one of the other reasons that I'm uh, <laughs> behind here is if you can see out here, that right there. So when your grandfather at 90 years young tells you, you know what, I think I'd like to shoot one more deer. You drop everything and make that happen. So uh, I went out and I bought that blind, assembled that blind. Of course, we didn't have time for it, but we make time for it because I'm hoping that is something that I uh, will be very special to me and I'll never forget. So uh, as I just finished that, now I'm onto this. Like I said, less than 20 hours, have a bunch to go, a uh, bunch to get done here rather. So uh, we're gonna keep going along. So I have decoys, I have blinds, um, have to organize all that stuff. Uh, some tools I'm gonna show you guys are gonna go in here that we just always you know need or seem to need. So I'm gonna make sure they're in here. Um, Ton of stuff to unbox, ton of stuff to put on chargers, uh, just a lot of organizational stuff. So uh, go, go, go today, but we're gonna get this thing done. So let me show you how I'm organizing that in the trailer because I think this is kind of slick. Here you can see I have my poles. I'm organizing them here. I am going to secure them down you know, below, but I have a lot of work that I'm gonna do here yet. But these are actually the uh, E-Track system. Um, they're the, uh, I think they call them the, it's a good question. I don't know what they call them. <laughs> they're, some, they're really meant to, use, to hold like shovels and rakes and stuff like that, which we are going to do. Um, but they work great for this. So I can fit two in one. And then I put a couple of shorties down here, which we can, of course, add or subtract your height to you later on when we get to the field. So I'm gonna take these wings off. And here is how I'm going to be organizing you know, my spinners in here, okay? So they're gonna ride just like that. I love you know, this kind of a system because they're not piled up somewhere. They're gonna sit here and you can tell, you know, I can sit here and pull on these. They're not going anywhere, okay? So then over here, I'm putting all my wings because that seems to be an issue, right? It was like, you can, you never have your wings, you never have enough wings, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we have a lot of cool stuff that we're doing in here. Um, we're gonna walk you through some more of that stuff later on, but kind of getting rolling here. So it's kind of starting to come together, but we have a lot of work yet to do. Okay, so here's where we're at. We're bunching up decoys. So we have uh, all 
DSDs, they're fantastic. And uh, we take the time to bag them and organize them so that they stay good. You can see we have a lot of new Lucky Duck stuff that we have unboxed. So uh, as we look in here, we're running out of room fast, which is hard to believe because I specifically got a trailer that I thought was too big and it's not. So um, we're going to be hanging up the decoys like that. So you can see I have hooks up here and what I'm struggling with is just how far apart. Um, there's just so much I feel like I have to fit. So I have to fit all the full bodies and then all the spinners you'll see will hang up like this and then we've got all the two by four blinds then all the layout blinds and <laughs> we're gonna have to get good at tetris really fast there's a lot that has to go in here so we'll see Alright, so I'm going to walk you through here kind of what we have. So, um, here's the side of the trailer here. We're not going to talk about the light bars. So, the light bars, I actually wanted one here and one there. But when the guy installed them, he put them here. So, whew, we're just going to take a breath and not worry about it much. <laughs> okay, so one of the first things that I love right away. So, I got the wide door, but I love if you know anything about me. You know I'm a whiteboard guy. So why would I have a whiteboard on my trailer? So we hunt with a lot of people that you know, maybe they don't hunt a ton or they're new to hunting. We love bringing new people in. But the hard part is like when they're going to set decoys, you, know, you look out at a field like this and they're like, I don't know, where do I put them? Where do they go, right? And so we have to direct them everywhere they go. Here we can say, all right, Wind is doing is doing you know this. We're gonna set the blinds here. We're, you know, we're gonna kind of do one of the you know, whatever it is, right? We can set out exactly how we want the spread delay, and then everybody can can be more involved, and then they can go set the decoys, which I think is awesome. As we walk into the trailer here, you can see here a lot going on, but we have the Lucky Duck kennels all with fans just for you know that extra bit of uh of making sure everybody stays comfortable uh we do have some cleaning to do in here so don't worry about that our yeti buckets to sit on and our frames so these frames are for the lucky duck two by four blinds okay so why do we have them assembled because mostly we'd wrap them up in the blinds themselves like a burrito right but we have them assembled again for the reason that we hunt with a lot of people that are just new they're new to this so just simply trying to if you've never put these together before they're not difficult but if you've never done it before okay maybe it's not super easy and you're trying to figure it out so again instead of you know, brett or myself having to be dedicated to helping you know, these go up having almost all of it done taken care of is a huge huge step of that so we love love that these are the flip tops for the two by fours which is important to have with us just in case you know we have birds that are starting to flare on us these are the two by fours themselves so you can see here we have a number of them we have all of our spinners that looks so pretty look at that and then all of our wings which i love that they stay together we have our goose flappers we have our heyday ducks which can be used for both floaters and field situations we have our spinner poles and our flags now if you're a waterfowler and you don't have this in your trailer which is a hedge trimmer an electric hedge trimmer you need to add that that is a game changer for cutting down big bundles and being able to brush on the fly so that is huge all right so over on the other side of the trailer so i love my dave smith decoys uh, we bag every one of them and then you can see we have them carabinered the trailer so this is I believe six or six and a half dozen and then we have the lucky duck silhouettes for another ten dozen so there's a lot of decoys that are right here so so far I really like how all this is coming together and we're gonna see how the application works because time will tell how it all fits so 
quick run do or run down <laughs> run do quick run down of the trailer and uh we are ready for North Dakota. So some bonus footage on the trailer build video. So here's what's so fun about this. As I talked about, I think earlier in the video you're watching here, I am not a trailer expert. I'm not even a handyman. I'm a hunter. And so I built this trailer as a hunter. And so I'm learning things as I go along. Two additions we put on here I want to show you guys. So uh, for our Lucky Duck 2x4 frames. So I love keeping them together because it just it's so much quicker when it comes down to setting up in the morning to the point that I actually screw them together so they can't break down. But they were really struggling just riding right on the kennels. And I didn't like all the extra noise that it was probably making for the dog. So I uh, built a hanging shelf here, as you can see, goes all the way across. Uh, I have a couple of our uh, full body decoy bags or Dakota decoy bags here, but I love this shelf. It's been a great way. I, I have a ratchet strap running this way, uh, this way, that uh, secure all these down. I don't have it on right now because I'm trying to do some reorganizing right now. And, uh, and then this right here, I'll kind of step back so you can see more. I love this shelf here that we did, kind of like a workbench in the front. It just gives this nose. This is all workspace now, you know, whether it's, um, you know, we would stack you know, some of our, maybe our silhouettes or our blind bags and guns and everything else we'd have throughout the hunt. We could stack right there. There's just always things need to be worked on, it seems like. And so here we have a bench on the go to be able to do that with. And then down below, you're going to see I have, keep in mind, I haven't cleaned everything out yet from the season. But this little piece right here, that has been great because you can see I have you know, some of our Yeti buckets back there. I'll keep uh, maybe our cases of shells, you know, things like that. So that little, you know, kick out, I don't know what you'd call it, but that little right there, it just helps to where stuff is not going to start rolling out of there. So I really like that. So I love this shelf or this workbench here was a great addition. Love it. And then this hanging shelf to hold not only this, but it just, you know, it basically doubled this real estate here, right? So um, I got decoy bags, those uh, those frames. Really like those two additions. Otherwise, like love this trailer, guys. Love this trailer. Love the setup. It was a fantastic setup for us this year. I'm sure there will be other things that come up as far as that will help me uh, understand maybe some tweaks that I, that I want to make. Um, the other thing, I don't have one. You guys took it out of here. I'm going to drop the link to it uh, somewhere in the description here. But I have a Bluetooth thermometer that I keep in here to make sure that the dogs are comfortable. That was a concern of mine. Is it gonna get too hot or too cold? Um, the ventilation was not an issue, um, but the heat and the cold. And so what I, what this, this Bluetooth does is I can actually set a high and a low temp and it will ping my phone if it's getting into uh, those temperatures. And it was a great peace of mind to know that the dogs were comfortable and safe because that was a big deal for me here. So, um, love it. Two additions, though. And I'll keep coming back with you if there are more additions. Hey, everybody. So, thank you for following along with this trailer build. So, there's a few things I know about this trailer. One, I love it. Love the size. Love the layout. We're through a season now with it so I can verify we do love it. I mean, it's just been fantastic. But here's what else I know. I know we're going to continue to learn things that I would do differently, things I might add, things I might change up. So I will keep you posted on that. And if there's any tweaks or changes, I will add it to this video uh, as we do so. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe to Riverstone and uh, follow along with not only what we're doing project-wise like this, but then also you know, the dog side of things and our hunts. So uh, subscribe and stay tuned.